Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a monthly view setup. I have not done one of these in so long. I recently in the last week or so watched Jen Plans. I will put her channel down below and she did a monthly setup for March and I'm like, you know what? I should really utilize that, you know? Like I keep always wanting to do them but then I never do them. So I figured it was high time to actually do one on my channel. And if you guys like these types of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Let me know if you want me to make this more of a regular thing. I don't have a ton of kids and I don't have a ton of things going on on a monthly basis that are kind of regular. So um, they're not as detailed as some people's would be, but let me know, let me know if you like it. Uh, first things first, I use an Erin Condren Life Planner and I use the colorful hourly version. Um, this is just the month view. I believe all the month views look the same but it just depends on if you get a colorful or a neutral the neutral is going to be more in the gray scale and the colorful will obviously be colorful so these little sticky notes are actually from i've got two of them sitting over here right now um these are the stylized sticky notes from aaron condren this one's like really really well loved and i'm kind of trying to go through this one right now and then i've got this one as well there's a bunch of different styles on the website i will leave links below if it's your first time ordering through aaron condren there is a link for first timers if you sign up, you'll get a $10 off coupon code emailed to you from Erin Condren. You're gonna get a bunch of emails, but one of them will be a coupon code for $10 off your first purchase. When you do that, you get $10 off, and then I get $10 off when your item ships. There's also an affiliate link down below too. I do receive a small commission from any of the affiliate links down below. It does not increase the price of your products that you are buying, but it does help support me and my channel. So thank you to everyone that's used them and thank you to anyone that will end up using them in the future. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna start with like the first day and go from there. We are currently in this week right now, but you know, you can kind of watch these anytime I feel like. I am gonna bust out my Chrissy Ann Designs binder. I used to have two of these and then I did a big D stash. Um, right here on the second and I kind of like went over this weekend and then I shipped out everything on that Monday the 5th but um, I really got to condense everything into one binder now which makes me excited but I still have so much Chrissy and designs left y'all but let me put some of these guys in I just busted out some of my like smaller event stickers because I'm gonna need some of these and I know you guys are probably gonna freak out because I'm gonna use a blue pen but this is what's sitting on my desk or like on my table here and I just really don't care anymore I do have well this is like my stash of neutral pens so I've got my black and my blue kind of mixed up in here but you know let's use up the blue pen and then when it's gone it's gone so I think I'm gonna copy Jen plans a little bit and pick a couple of colors and just go with it. So she picked out green, yellow, and I think orange for this scheme that she doesn't really like do a specific theme, but she just picks like a couple of different colors that she thinks goes well together. And I think that looks really nice. So I'm like, I'm basically copying Jen plans. So Jen, if you're watching, I love you. And I hope to meet you in Texas this year. But I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna write D stash on here. All right, I'll put that over there. You always gotta let this dry just for a sec before you peel her off. And if you guys are interested in any of the stickers I'm showing, I will um, leave links below. All right, so my Instagram D stash. And then these stickers are from a sticker shop called Plan About It. And then it kind of went all weekend, but I just figured, no, I'll just put it in right there. So that will be good. This over here for a second. I'm gonna put in all my, you know, trashy, trashy things. So these ones are from Coffee Break Planner. And this particular sheet has like the trash and then the recycle and the trash and then the recycle if you kind of, you know, go like every other day or not every other day, but every other week. In my planner, I put my trash on Wednesday so I remember to take it out at night, but the actual trash day is Thursday. Cause they come and pick up my garbage. All right, so I'm probably gonna get questions as to like what this UIMN is. That's the unemployment, like Minnesota thing. So that is what that is, but oops. 
I'll put this over here. But every week I have to like a, like reapply for benefits. Like even though I have a profile and all of that, they you know want to ask you if you have another job or if you know if you've been looking for work and you know, how many hours you've been looking for work or where you've been applying and you know they just ask you a bunch of questions. So I wanted to use these stickers because then I could check it off once it's done. So like. I did this Thursday already and I can just check it off that I put in the information in the computer machine and then we're good to go. So yeah, so you have to do it every week and then um, you just have to do it between Monday and Friday and then you're applying for benefits for like the previous week if that makes sense. I feel like I should be talking during this, but just like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should just go over all the things I've put in so far that I haven't talked about. Um, okay, so anyway, D Stash was here, post office. I did my taxes. And then um, on this Thursday, I went to the Workforce Center, which I think is like part, part of the requirement of the unemployment insurance for Minnesota, which is this little guy right here. On Saturday, I went to go see my friend Beck at one o'clock, and then I went to go see Jackson at five o'clock, and then yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday. Um, I went to like a little doggo meetup for Doyle and his new friend, Lady Artemis, and um, yeah, so I did that. If you guys don't watch my vlogs, um, Doyle is notoriously, like doesn't really enjoy other dogs' companies. Like he kind of tolerates them. So anyway, he is potentially gonna be staying at a house that just got a new dog and I wanted to make sure that they could get along for the duration of my absence. And that will be happening in June. But we did like our first little meetup uh, here this past Sunday and we'll continue to have a couple more meetups before I actually leave just to, you know, make sure everything is good to go. So next thing I'm gonna put in is my brother is supposed to be in town and I wanted to use a couple of different things in here possibly and these are from the Erin Condren uh, website these are just these sticker books they're like the monthly sticker books so I'm not really sure which one I want to use but maybe I'll use um this green one that's got the shamrocks on it since it's kind of kind of part of the color scheme and then I need a scissors though here's a scissors <laughs> so my brother is supposed to be in town I think starting Thursday night and then going into Sat or sorry Sunday I think he's leaving and going back but I'm just not 100% sure I don't know if he's staying with me or if he's gonna be staying with someone else um, you know any anything is fine with me I always just tell him it's fine and my phone's ringing Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. My friend Kristen called, so had to take had to take a short short little break here. Anyway, okay, let's do this. All right, I put in when my brother's gonna be here, but I am going to use a sticker. And I'm just gonna write fill in town. Eh, I just put Phil in Minnesota. I don't know. Because like I said, I never know if he's going to stay here or if he's going to, you know, be somewhere else, which is just fine. But I will see him actually on Saturday because Jackson's birthday is the 20th, but we're going to have a little, just like a little get together and hang out. All right, and I'm going to put... I'm gonna use one of these. This is from the um, Aaron Connor and sticker book. All right, so at noon, we're gonna go do the, the Jackson party thing. Take this little guy off. I 
I swear I can like not center things sometimes. <laughs> I'll use this little thing. I cannot remember where these came from, but if you just search on Etsy, like balloon planner stickers, I'm sure that they will um, come up for you or something like this would come up. I'm not sure because I cut them down because the sheet was too big. So yeah, that's what's going on for my month so far. So anyway, that is it for my monthly view of March, 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I don't really have a ton of stuff going on in my life. So these are a little bit slim, but it's just kind of fun to see. So let me know if you guys are interested in me doing possibly like in April or May or, you know, moving forward, just kind of showing, even if it's just some really basic things, let me know. And I'm more than willing to do a video for you guys. Most of the stickers I use today are from Chrissy and Designs. Her link will be down below and all the other shops that I used will be linked down below for you guys if you want to check them out. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.